Hey you guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing good. Today we're going to be working with tiny, tiny, tiny French nails. So first off you guys, make sure that if you're going to be working with tiny nails like these, you want to make sure that you work with smaller brushes. I use this one. This one is very old you guys. I think this is like the brush that I've had since since I kind of started maybe I was like two years into nails when I recently when I I'm sorry when I purchased it um, so it's really old it's a number six brush it's very very small and I like to work with this you know with smaller brushes when I'm working with um, clients that prefer smaller or shorter nails so yes you guys um i don't suggest you guys use bigger brushes because you're gonna have a lot of problems trying to mold the acrylic well not trying to mold the acrylic but just it's gonna get everywhere because these are very short nails you guys are tiny so i really wanted to make this video today because um I'm a nail biter and I've always wanted to do like a like an acrylic overlay but of course since I'm a nail biter I cannot have overlays because where is the acrylic gonna hang on to what is it gonna adhere to you know it's pretty much just skin <laughs> I'm kidding but yeah you guys I've always liked you know overlays because sometimes you just want to go short you know so an overlay always looks really nice when you want more like more i guess more like subtle nails more classy nails you you might want to go shorter so like i said i always wanted to go you know really short and you know just the the simple french and i was like no i can't do it because of course i'm a nail biter so you know this is another you know option for you guys if you guys have clients that are nail biters that are always biting and nibbling on their nails this is pretty good because this is gonna actually look like a natural nail but it's not it's you know a tip with acrylic um so yeah you guys i've as you guys saw i started off by building kind of like an almond here i i mean you've seen me do this a lot um recently i've been really into french i don't know why you guys i guess because i'm kind of getting the hang of it little by little so i've been really doing french up and down you guys i'm so sorry um so you guys saw me kind of do like an almond there and then I'm using my I'm using a number six acrylic nude acrylic from Valentino. Again, by far one of my favorite nudes. I think I finally found the perfect nude for my skin tone. Um, so if you're around my skin color, I think this one will suit you like really good because I can't I just can't let go of it, you guys. I really think it does suit me better than any other um you know acrylic out there nude acrylic out there so as you saw i went ahead and built up my all of my like the little almonds and then i went ahead and used a hand file to perfect them since this is a small fringe you really really want to go in with a hand file I don't think you should skip this step you guys um, so I really hope you guys go in with your hand file because you really want to perfect that smile line you want that smile line to look very crisp very neat and very well put together very well done so that your work um, looks nice and clean you know your work talks for yourself speaks for yourself and if other people see that you're doing a good job a very clean work they're gonna want to come in and do the nails with you so i would highly suggest you guys go in with a hand file so that everything looks nice and crisp so after that i just dusted everything off the nail and then i went ahead and used a white i was not neat with the white i didn't care if it got on top of the nail I just went ahead and slapped it on the nail you guys and I just wanted to make sure that the white went you know was 
was right exactly where I wanted it to be. Um, especially in small in the in those small little crevices um, in the side of the nail, where you know where the nail meets um, the um, the almond. I think I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, and then after that's dry, I went ahead and filed it with my hand drill or with my electric drill. I don't know why I'm always saying hand drill with my electric drill. And then I went ahead and filed everything down. Um, after this, you don't need to cap, you guys. You don't have to cap and there's no need to make an apex to the nail. The thinner the nail looks, um the better because again these are shorter nails so you don't want them looking bulky um they're just gonna look like toads so <laughs> they don't look cute you guys they look kind of funky so again you don't need to make them thick you don't you know like for example me here they were a little thick so i removed any access access bulk of the nail with my electric drill and again i'm not gonna go ahead and cap i'm not gonna do anything else there's no need to build an apex there's no need to do anything else to the nail just remove the white you know just so that the fringe starts to you know appear and just so that it starts you know revealing the a beautiful French that you just created <laughs> so um, after that I'm, I'm just gonna go in with another file I think this is 150 150 now file from now supply glamour I highly recommend these hand files you guys they're inexpensive they're really good you know and I mean I don't think you can ever go wrong with now supply glamour products you guys they have bomb products and very inexpensive so I'm just gonna go ahead and you know go on the surface of the nail with that hand file uh, this is more like a buffing um, kind of file it's it's not a buffer but it's a little more um, it's not that coarse if that makes sense so it just helps me smooth out the surface of the nail even better so if you're having problems with like lines left over from your from your electric drill go ahead and use um 150 150 nail file and that's gonna help out a lot and then i went ahead and buffed them off camera and then i went ahead and cleaned the whole surface with some alcohol and some lint free wipes and i went ahead and top coated them as you saw on my ring finger i just went ahead and added some green um chameleon i don't know if it's chameleon or hollow no it's not hollow um i don't know you guys some freaking fall leaves <laughs> kind of green and um i just went ahead and kept them you know i really wanted something there just that was like popping um and then i was a little messy with my top coat so i went ahead and cleaned it off with this brush and a little bit of alcohol and then i went ahead and popped that in the lamp for 60 seconds and once they came out i went ahead and added a little bit of cuticle oil and this is it oh my god you guys i really truly love these nails i know they're really short and i know that a lot of you don't really like short nails and a lot of you prefer longer nails but truly you guys this is just really like simple subtle and very you know i don't know you guys it's just very it, i i liked i liked how they turned out i really did so i really hope you guys did too and you know this is just another option for your clients if you have clients that prefer shorter nails you know or that just want like a um overlay looking acrylic set um but they bite their nails this is perfect for them so yeah you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and share and if you're new don't forget to subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you so much i can't say this enough you guys thank you thank you thank you so much um for being here for supporting the channel for subscribing um welcome anybody's anybody who's been subscribing to the channel thank you so much and yeah chicas with that being said um i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you again for being here um stay safe god bless and bye bye